Uh, welcome to a new Safe Jazz video. And this is a very, very interesting video, I think, for some people who are interested in Safe Jazz. And you will see right now a video about um, the limits of Safe Jazz. Usually I talk about the opportunities of Safe Jazz and what features it has, what new apps that are out there. But this time around, I want to talk a little bit about the limits of Safe Jazz. And I'm recording this right now on my, my Xperia. 10, uh, 10 uh, plus device that uh, is running SafeShares and this is the video and the audio quality that you can expect when you uh, record something uh, on the SafeShares device. This is the back firing camera. There are two cameras on the back on the Xperia 10 plus device. I can only use one under SafeShares so the zoom uh, is not working here. I could also use the front firing camera but this has I think a bit of a problem when it comes to lip sync. I am not even sure if the back camera is very good in terms of lip sync um, and um, yeah we have to see how this will work out. I think there's somehow a delay of 450 milliseconds still with SafeShares so when you're recording with SafeShares uh, and uh, yeah you have a bit of a problem you have to do post-production. Also the audio quality is a bit um, bad I would say in comparison to when I used the Xperia 10 Plus with Android simply because for some reason the audio quality is very very low and I have to boost it over 60 dB to uh, for uh, you to hear me. Anyway I hope you can still understand me and see me also. I chose natural light here you can see in bedroom so it's a bad in the background. And uh, anyway, I want to talk a bit about the limits of SafeShares. I have another SafeShares device here, the Xperia 10 uh, and the Xperia XA2 device, uh, which uh, runs a bit better than the Xperia 10 Plus device in terms of battery time, but of course it's expected. And this is why I took this device here, uh, because this one has a bigger battery. So what you would see on SafeShares usually is a good battery life. But there are some exceptions, especially the Xperia 10 line, only got good battery life with the latest update, SafeShares 3.4. Before that, it has some battery draining issues, and if you use some uh, third-party SafeShares ports for your device, there might be battery draining issues uh, that are not addressed yet. So um, you have to keep this in mind. Then, of course, there are two different things. There's one, the official X program, where Sony devices usually are in, and then there are unofficial web um, ports for uh, various different um, application for various different devices and those ports usually tend to have a little bit of a worse uh, support for the device but in all there are of course exceptions as well and uh, but in general you have like less support also there's no android support so the commercial bits are missing so keep this in mind in terms of uh, limitations when it comes to limitations of a service itself this here what i'm recording right now is some sort of limitation because i don't have the option in the default native uh, camera app to choose any frame rate or resolution for this video so i'm stuck to uh, 1080p 30 frames per second i cannot just bump it up to 4k 30 frames per second or 1080p 60 frames per second even if i wanted to there are some different camera applications available like advanced camera which is also a native camera application the most advanced camera application on SafeShares natively though it doesn't have the possibility to change the uh, frames per seconds or the resolution for the uh, video as well you can of course change the resolution for photos but another limit is the headphone jack is not used as microphone jack so you have no possibility to just plug in a microphone and it reroutes the audio uh, through this uh, plugged in microphone this is not possible i checked it on all of those devices so you're only able to use the uh, built-in microphone of the device itself which is a bit cumbersome if you want to do some vlogs like i'm doing it here right now i urge yola to just invest a little bit more in this uh, camera department because this is really lackluster and this is I think barely possible. I would really like to do my SafeShares podcast videos on a SafeShares device, uh, recording stuff, 
but it's really, really hard and I have to use an external recorder. I could use my Xperia uh, XA2 device as external recorder eventually, but again, I can plug in a microphone, but it's not recording via this microphone, which is a bit, yeah, dumb in my opinion. Uh, enough of this. So this, these are some multimedia limits that SafeHS has in terms of camera. Then of course, some devices only have one camera, no problem if you have uh, two cameras like the Xperia 10 Plus device, you are only able to use one camera. Um, this is a limit, I think, with AOSP as well. I'm not sure. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Of course, you have the possibility in terms of now vlogging um, on the official devices install an Android application. There you have the possibility to choose 1080p 60 frames per second. And you can also record uh, audio via external sources. I think this should be possible. I, I'm not sure if this will work out. Also, audio sync, last time I tested it, was a bit out of sync. So keep this in mind. So multimedia recording uh, videos under SaveVisual is a bit of problematic uh, if you want to have good audio and a fluid video like 60 frames per second video or something like this. Not really great. Uh, what other limits exist? There are, of course, some native limits in terms of applications. So there are some applications missing. But uh, the web browser is one limit still, I would say, even though Yola did a good job in SafeJS 3.4 upgrading the browser engine to Gecko 52. I occasionally find applications, um, not applications, yeah, the web applications, I would call them, that uh, have some limits or don't work with this older web browsing engine. Just like, for example, a Snapdrop. I made a tooltip about Snapdrop, or I will make a tooltip. I'm not sure when this video will come out. But anyway, Snapdrop is a nice uh, tool for sharing files between different um, devices, uh, alternative to KD Connect, for example, which does not work with iOS devices. But if you want to share files between various different devices, I try to use Snapdrop, which works with all my devices, just needs a web browser, a decent web browser, but it does not work on safe shares currently. So there's a limit in terms of software when it comes to the browser. Not all modern web applications are supported, especially those web applications that uh, use some fancy stuff like, uh, for example, Snapdrop. And uh, yeah, this is definitely a limit. Uh, when it comes to other limits, email client is wonderfully working for me, at least. I have various different email um, uh, accounts connected to it, so there's no problem with this. Uh, this works wonderfully, especially also after the 3.4 update, all the HTML emails are showing up just fine. Um, when it comes to issues regarding uh, native applications, of course, native applications, some are missing for a great or big platform still, but Twitter, for example, no problem at all. Uh, Facebook, to a, to a decent extent, no problem, because it's using a web app uh, approach for Facebook. Uh, YouTube is not a, on a big problem. You can use the web browser always, of course. Uh, there is uh, my player, LS Video Player. There's a MicroTube, a nice uh, YouTube player. You need to have an a API key for MicroTube, so this might be a little bit of a problematic thing for some people. LS Video Player does not need this, and the web browser does not need this as well. But for YouTube, you always have uh, the opportunity also to just install an Android application that uh, does this fine uh, on the official ports at least. So this is no problem at all. Uh, when it comes to playing YouTube videos. Um, YouTube Studio is a problem. No Google services are installed, of course, if you want to have Android side of things installed on your SafeHS device. So keep in mind, uh, when we come to Android uh, applications, there is no Google Play service available. So you have the same situation like with AUSP or with uh, Huawei devices that uh, don't ship with uh, GMS. Uh, when it comes to Android applications, there's another limit when it comes to directly accessing hardware, just like, for example, the audio cards or the mm, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi chips. So, for example, if you have a, a camera application uh, that allows you to connect to your DSLM or DSLR camera via remote connection, it's using either Bluetooth or it's using Wi-Fi, it's on Wi-Fi hotspot or something like this, won't work because the Android applications don't have access uh, to the subsystems on Safe S. So keep this in mind. It also goes for other um, uh, IoT household devices, just like for example, I have an intelligent fan here, which I can program to uh, start blowing at specific times and so on, which I cannot connect with my Safe S device because the application does uh, require the same Wi Fi network and access to Wi Fi network to detect the fan even, and it 
is not working under safer shares. So keep this in mind uh, in regards of Android application, there are some limits. Um, so this also means like uh, Bluetooth devices like here, uh, smartwatches and so on, uh, are only limitedly, there's only limit in terms of this that are supported. So there's a small bunch of them supported, uh, mainly by the Xiaomi brand, the Macefit Bib, for example, is one very popular uh, watch, uh, which is supported as a smart watch or fitness tracker by native applications. But when it comes to Android applications, they don't have access to the Bluetooth protocol. So no option for this. When it comes to like, uh, Android applications don't have like Bluetooth support doesn't mean that I cannot listen to uh, music via Amazon Music or Spotify or something. No, this works without any problems because the music or the audio is just rerouted to a self shares audio. So you can just connect your uh, Bluetooth headsets without any issues to your self shares smartphone and uh, then you can listen to music. But there's a limit as well when it comes to uh, music codec so only SBC is supported so you don't have AAC as far as I'm aware and you don't have LDAC or Aptic support on safe shares for Bluetooth devices so there might be a limit for um, music listeners as well uh, when it comes to this I personally don't have a problem with SBC uh, some say oh SBC the quality is very bad I personally listened to music uh, via Bluetooth SBC and didn't have this problem. Also, when I have my device like this and listening uh, to, to videos and watching some videos, I didn't have lip sync issues so far. So it all depends on the device, I would say, and of course, how far you're away from the device. So if I would like uh, lay it down here on the table or something and then we'll go into another room, there might be like uh, a delay that, that will be introduced or some uh, quality issues as well. But if you hold your device in your hand and don't want to have a ca cable dumbling in, no problem with this. Uh, in terms of audio quality, there's a short, yeah, short, I would say, a little limit as well. If you plug in something via the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, you will notice some uh, background noise going on, which I don't have on Android usually on the same devices. So there's some uh, filter applied on Android that uh, yeah, uh, filters out this noise apparently, or there's some noise introduced by Savages for some reason. So uh, the quality of the headphone output is not as good as on Android when you compare it. So there's a limit to this as well. Also, there might be limits uh, on devices on the Xperia 10 Plus devices, depending on which kind of headphones you have. There might be some limits in if you even get sound or not. Uh, so I think there, there was a bug that, that they fixed so that you have the possibility not to uh, only have like a low impedance uh, uh, headphones, little headphones, but also big impedance uh, um, um, speakers or something connected to your device. But I'm not sure if this happens with if this is uh, working on all devices. Have to be uh, clear here. So I don't know if uh, this is an issue or not. Uh, talking about other limitations, uh, what comes to my mind? Um, nothing big. VPN is working. I tried a NordVPN uh, connecting here, so I was able to watch some Amazon. Prime video. By the way, Amazon, why do you have geo blocking active? Uh, I have my Netflix account as well. It works phenomenally here. I don't have any problems, uh, even if I'm not uh, at home in Germany. Uh, so, um, in terms of uh, Wi Fi connection, no issues to 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz Wi Fi, no issues at all. There is some kind of limitation in terms of speed on certain devices. Xperia 10 Plus, I think, is. Uh, one of those but also i think the xa2 has some issues in terms of wi-fi speed so if you want to transfer big files like two gigabytes or more uh, via wi-fi you might run into limitations that there are only 30 uh, or so uh, megabytes uh, or uh, megabit per second um, transfers so there's some kind of limit there that might be an issue from the driver itself as well so i'm not quite sure so let me check the list if I forgot anything. Um, I think that is basically it. So there are some limits, of course, in applications, but applications, I don't want to count all of those applications. Uh, like I said, mainly what people use, like chat applications, are there some limits in chat applications? There are several Telegram native applications for service shares. Not all of them feature complete, but uh, most of them working fine if you don't do fancy stuff like animated stickers or something like this, it works fine. Uh, Telegram works, I showed some videos like how Telegram works in uh, uh, 
natively also the Linux desktop client working natively uh, with the help of flatbacks. Uh, the, the Android Telegram client works also phenomenally on safer shares with Ali Dalvik. The WhatsApp works, also encryption of all those uh, sorts of things is working. When it comes to phoning someone, it works on WhatsApp, so you can just simply call someone, a uh, voice call, uh, without any issues. The video call, I'm not quite sure, should work as well, but it depends on the application. Some applications have problems. In regards, always when it comes to like video recording front of that cameras, there might be some issues on self share still on certain devices and also with Elliot Dalvik having some issues uh, regarding this. Instagram, no problem. You have uh, various Instagram applications as well available. Also the official Instagram application works fine. Um, what else uh, can I think of? Uh, web browser, you have always the option to just install an Android web browser like a Firefox. Uh, web browser, for example, which the new version also works with Firefox Sync, which is nice to sync all your uh, devices together. And you can also use like a, uh, modern websites like Snapdrop, for example, you can use in the Android uh, web browser as well. So there's a workaround available for this. So it's not all bad. I, this is what I want to say, even if this uh, video like sounds like a bit of bad uh, in this uh, regard. So content creation under SafeShares is a big, big limit. It's one of the biggest limits. So this is why I'm not using SafeShares usually for content creation. I'm using uh, Huawei devices, which have wonderful cameras and uh, good optimized software to do content creation and microphones that work nice and you can plug in external microphones. Uh, Sony devices usually, like my Xperia 1 with Android, runs pretty cool uh, in terms of you can also do content creation with this 100%. Sadly, this is not the case on SafeShares. So content creation is one big point where you where it falls behind. Also, there's for content creation, there are only limited amount of tools available natively for Surface shares, and those tools that are available for Android work also with limits on Surface shares. So some video editors, for example, don't show a picture, they just show a black screen for some reason. So you cannot cut your video. You need another video editor that doesn't have a certain feature that those editors use, then it works, but it doesn't work very fluidly and it's uh, it's a pain uh, to use, uh, to be honest. So content creation is not one of the strong points in uh, safe shares. When it comes to normal usage like phoning, texting, uh, chatting, uh, browsing even, most of the time, like with the limits uh, regarding the native browser, uh, no problem at all in safe shares. And uh, yeah, um, GPS, uh, how is navigation going? You can install Google Maps, I think. It will work without the possibility to log in. Uh, work fine. GPS is working fine for me at least. I know certain people have some problems with getting the GPS signal. I don't uh, since a few years. I don't actually. So I cannot tell you about this much. There are native applications available uh, using OpenStreetMap as um, uh, map material and they work pretty nice and pretty good as long as you uh, uh, want to do the basics things. So if you don't want like a map application that gives you uh, feedback about restaurants or shops and pictures and so on, then uh, you can use your native applications pretty fine. Otherwise, you can use, of course, the Yelp app if you don't like to use Google Maps uh, for this. So this works pretty nice when it comes to uh, navigation. No issue there with the GPS. Pretty accurate as well uh, in regards uh, to uh, this. Yeah, uh, what else do you do on your smartphone usually? This is, I think, pretty much everything that you do. Gaming, maybe, might be a limit. Of course, gaming has a limit in terms of Savage's native games. There are a few of them that are pretty good as well, but there are some that are not as well, as good developed as Android applications or Android games. Android games run fine, usually. Of course, if they depend on Google Play services, then they won't run as nicely. And there is, of course, always like a little bit of speed difference in terms of being running natively on a hardware or running via Alien Dalvik on Safe uh, So count uh, in bad graphics or medium graphics, depending on the device. Xperia 10 Plus is my reference point or the X XA2 here, where, uh, of course, like um, the graphics intense games will not run very fluid. So you have to either go down in terms of quality or um, uh, you should have a, a, a game in this case. Um, yeah, uh, this is, I think, what, what do we have? We have multimedia, we have uh, chatting, 
office would be also pretty interesting to know. Uh, SafeJS has an office application on board, which allows you to view various different office formats, uh, Microsoft Office formats, and also open document formats without any big issues. PDFs, no issue at all. You can uh, take a look at that. When it comes to uh, cloud computing, like uh, accessing Dropbox, for example, Microsoft OneDrive, your next cloud or something like this. No problems there. Native applications available. There's native support for Dropbox, for uh, uh, Microsoft OneDrive, uh, and for NextCloud. There is even an application for NextCloud, which allows you to do to sync notes up. And you have, of course, the op option to just simply go to the websites uh, and just download stuff or upload stuff there as well. This will work as well. Uh, the native support for Dropbox, for Microsoft OneDrive and uh, Nextcloud is uh, mainly in the gallery. So you have the option to upload pictures and uh, video files there and also download them. But this is basically everything. Other files, you have to use a third party application for this, for it to work. But you can use Android applications and the original Android applications for this if you don't trust the native applications to do this. Uh, same goes for Flickr support, for example. There are some uh, applications, also native applications, that work nicely for this. Uh, so this runs uh, pretty nicely. So now we have, I think, everything. Video production, audio production, with cloud computing, with internet, browsing and searching. Um, are there some other limits to safe shares? Let me think, let me think, let me think. Of course, there are, of course, uh, payment systems or something like this don't work, like NFC uh, tech and just pay. Uh, with NFC or something like this uh, won't work on services at all because the Android applications don't have access to NFC and uh, there's no native application that supports uh, this. And NFC is another uh, limit here, limiting factor. There are basically, there's n no, basically no NFC applications on Selfishers. Selfishers has a client built in that can read NFC tags, but that's not everything. There are some NFC applications that are in testing, but no real NFC support and safe shares uh, in regards to applications. And uh, third-party applications, Android applications don't have access to NFC, so uh, rule NFC completely out uh, of the safe shares game for now, hopefully. In the future, we'll see support for this. So basically, this is everything from a safe shares limits video. I think if you have some questions still regarding some limits or what works on safe shares, what doesn't work on safe shares, you're interested in safe shares, you can ask them in the comments question. I will collect those questions and I will answer them either via video, just like I did this video here right now, because some people were asking me, what are the limits of safe shares? And here's the video now for you guys. And uh, if you have some specific questions, you can ask them in the comments section. And uh, of course, you can like, you can subscribe. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.